Hi everyone, in this video we'll talk about what is Burp Suite. So Burp Suite is Java based web penetration testing framework which is mostly used by security professionals in order to identify attack vectors or in order to find out various security flaws in web application. So this is how Burp Suite looks like and one of the most important feature of Burp Suite is that it is also called as interception proxy tool. So why it is called as interception proxy tool? You will come to know in coming videos. So one good news is that Bob Suite is available for Linux, Mac and Windows. So now we know that what is Bob Suite that it's actually a security framework where we can do security testing of various web application. Now let's talk about its features, right? So you can see over here, there are some features of Bob Suite, like we can use Bob Suite in order to do interception proxy, in order to do automatic security scan. We can actually manipulate HTTP and HTTPS requests, HTTPS headers, even we can use Bob Suite for brute forcing various credentials. And last but not the least, we can use it in order to make a sitemap of a website or in order to crawl a website, spider a website. So this is how the Bob Suite looks like. So Bob Suite have different different tabs and all of them have different functionality. Let's say you can see over here that there is a proxy tab which is used for intercepting a proxy. Here is a spider tab which is used for crawling the website. You can see over here there is one tab called a scanner which actually do automatic security testing of various web application and make a report of it. Then you can see over here there is an intruder tab which is used for brute forcing or just by doing any password authentication attacks. Then you can see over here there is one tab repeater which is used in order to send multiple HTTP or HTTPS request and then we can check out that what kind of response is given buying out the server. So you can see over here there is one more tab called as decoder which we can use in order to do some crypto stuff like uh, you have one string and you want to convert it or let's say you find you found one string and that might be a session id but that is encrypted so what else you can do you can actually send that request to decoder and there you can just perform some crypto stuff so that you can identify that what kind of string that is last but not the least you can see over here there are some tabs like compare project option, user options. So all of these things and tabs we will cover in this video. So now I can't stop myself for using this tool. So what about you? So in coming videos, let's explore this tool. Thanks for watching this video.